Welcome to the Integration Framework for SAP Business One, bringing digitalization to life. Today, we are going to demonstrate how the Integration Framework aids in the monitoring of a cold storage unit, such as a freezer or type of refrigeration, using business process management logic and the management of inventory transfers, bringing goods into the cold storage unit. In this example, business process management logic controls and monitors the cold storage unit and products stored inside the unit. The edge-based integration framework processes RFID scans which trigger specific warehouse events, such as temperature exceptions that trigger logic to check if the door of the cold storage unit is open or closed. If the status of the cold storage unit door is open, it triggers user notification in SAP Business One for action. Business process logic recalculates the best before date of these fresh goods in SAP Business One based on the temperature exception events. The system landscape consists of a back-end system, which is SAP Business One running the integration framework, together with Raspberry Pi, a small single board computer, also running the integration framework that are connected to sensors that could be managing one or multiple cold storage units. The business process management modeler is a new part of the integration framework, which helps to orchestrate single scenario steps designed in the integration framework and runs based on instances. In this example, you can see a running instance where you can follow the green line to monitor what is happening during this instance. On the right hand side, you have Raspberry Pi, which is connected to all of the sensors, which include a temperature sensor, which we control manually, a turn on and off switch, which senses the door of the storage unit opening and closing, and an RFID sensor connected via the bus, which communicates with the integration framework based on the instance which is running at the time. Business process management is based on the information coming in from Raspberry Pi. This can be designed in the business process modeler where you design all of the process steps based on business process design standards, describing different tasks, such as inbound or outbound tasks, waiting tasks, or even scheduler tasks, and any human steps, for example. All of these elements come from the business process model and notation 2.0 specification, which is the BPMN standards that you will find in many BPM products as a way to describe business processes. A unique differentiator with the integration framework is that not only are you able to design your processes in the user interface, but you can also use the design interfaces at a later stage to monitor your business processes. The integration framework includes the business process management modeler tool in one product, which is already seamlessly integrated. We are a company that deals with fresh goods such as vegetables and meat products and fish and uses SAP Business One as our ERP system. We have enhanced SAP Business One with the integration framework to monitor and control our cold storages. We are now in the integration framework process modeler where the process was designed. This process starts with a trigger, which is designed to run every minute. It is a web services call to check the temperature based on the information coming from Raspberry Pi. Blue elements are the scenario steps also designed in the integration framework. If it meets the defined criteria, no further steps are executed. If the temperature, for example, is minus 18 or above, then the next step executes two processes. The first checks the door status, if it is open or not. If the door is open, an internal alert is then sent to SAP Business One. If the door is closed, a service call is created. In parallel, the system is waiting to check the temperature again. And if the temperature continues to be minus 18 degrees, then it changes the best before date of our fresh produce. After another waiting period, it checks the temperature again and then triggers an event to update the best before date in the warehouse for that particular fresh good. Process can be triggered at any interval that you define, such as every minute, hour, or even once a day. The image that you can see now represents refrigeration with a door. There is a switch on the inside of the door to see if it is open or closed. We then have two RFID sensors to read information from an RFID tag or chip containing information about the fresh produce. 
multiple tags are used containing information such as batch information for different types of fresh produce and in this example we have one for vegetables, one for meat and one for fish. There is a temperature sensor where we can define the temperature of the cold storage unit manually. This information is then sent via a wired interface to Raspberry Pi, of which the information is then sent via Ethernet to the central integration framework server. Raspberry Pi contains a micro SD card where the integration framework is also installed and also running. It also contains some other interfaces such as a USB and HDMI interfaces for example, and the white cable powers the Raspberry Pi unit. We are now going to add inventory to the cold storage unit using the RFID dongle. The green light indicates that the information has been read by an RFID sensor. So now we add our meat, fish and vegetables to our cold storage unit. Back in SAP Business One, the goods can now be seen via the batch number transactions report. We can now see all three fresh goods in storage, capturing the relevant batch information. We can also see the best before date for each item. These best before dates may change if the temperature increases. In the integration framework, we can see that the scenario is running. Every minute, the instance is run and provides us with a result. From the integration framework, you have the flexibility to monitor the results by directly opening the integration framework process modeler. We can see that everything is currently running fine, which is indicated in green as the temperature remains at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Back in our cold storage unit, we are going to open the door and increase the temperature to see what events are triggered. The instant scenario is run again and drilling down into the process modeler, we can see that a number of different steps have been triggered. Drilling down into the check temperature step, we can see that the temperature is now minus 12, which is warmer than minus 18. And the check door status indicates that the door is open. This has triggered an alert in SAP Business One. The process is still running and waiting to see if there is a temperature change once the door has been closed. Back in SAP Business One, in the messages and alerts window, we can see a warning message telling us that the cold storage door is open. In the warehouse, once the door is closed and the temperature drops again, we check the status of the instant scenario. In the process modeler, we can see that because it took too much time to close the door of the cold storage unit, the best before date has been adjusted for the fresh fish produce. Back in SAP Business One, running the batch transaction report again shows us that the best before date for the fresh fish has been changed by a few days, from the 1st of May to the 28th of April. In the integration framework, when the instance is run again, we can see that the temperature is now back to minus 20 degrees Celsius and no further action is required. In our next scenario, we are going to change the temperature to be warmer than required and the door will remain closed. This would indicate that there is an issue with the cold storage unit which may need repair. Once the instance has run again, we then open the process modeler and we can see what has been triggered. Drilling down into the check temperature step, we can see that the temperature is now minus 10. The process then checks the door status which is closed. So then a service call is created in SAP Business One to engage a technician to check and repair the cold storage unit. In SAP Business One, we can see that an alert has been created and indicates that a service call has been assigned to a technician. We can review this service call under the service module, and we can see that the service call subject relates to a significant temperature increase in the refrigerated warehouse. By refreshing the instance, we can see the best before date for the fish produce has been adjusted again to the 25th of April. But now we can see that the status of the best before date is now locked and can no longer be changed. If a further change is required, the fish would then need to be discarded and no longer sold. Refreshing this instance again shows us that the best before date has been changed for all of the other relevant fresh goods. And now the temperature is okay. Business process management can orchestrate single scenario steps, so you can include in your scenario human steps such as confirming when the technician has repaired the cold storage unit, or you can, for example, schedule an automated task such as servicing. 
This is a very simple example of digital transformation. Together with business process management, Raspberry Pi and relevant sensors, we are able to manage a real-life business process scenario using the integration framework technology and SAP Business One at the core.